It's kind of cloudy today, but at least it's not raining, that's good. So, yeah. Nice area, I see a lot of people just walking along here. Kind of reminds me of Sapchong also. Um, of course, this lake is bigger. It's bigger than Sapchong also, so. It's a nice peaceful place, I think, just to walk around and relax a little bit. Watch the families and couples out on the boats. So, this is a Ohori Park. My first time here. It's a nice relaxing place. Maybe the main park in Fukuoka. It's pretty nice. Definitely come back here um, sometime later with someone else, maybe. <laughs> relaxing place to walk around. The, the lake here, it's kind of similar to Sokchong Hosu, but I think this is a bigger lake than Sokchong Hosu. So here you can see this is a very big lake actually, and people are riding the boats with swans. Just also just relax on the the bench here and we can, we can watch. And it's Sokchong Hosu Gate. It's similar to Sokchong Hosu. You can just walk, a lot of people just walk along the area of the lake. It's my first time here. Chome, Ohori Park. What's up? Walking in Ohori Park. This is the view of the lake from here. Nice, relaxing scenery. Though today is cloudy, but at least it's not raining, so that's good. Lots of boats here. Couples and families come out on the boats. So 
a nice place. Come here, relax. Enjoy. Dog. I'm just gonna walk around here for a bit and go back. It's pretty nice. towards the entrance of Meizuru Park <clears throat> and the Fukuoka Castle Ruins. Let's see what's good up here. Oh man. So now I'm at the top of uh, Fukuoka Castle, the ruins of Fukuoka Castle, and you can see the view of Fukuoka from here, which is awesome. The view of Fukuoka. You can see like the whole city state behind it. It's pretty nice. So
Again, this is the view from Fukuoka Castle. You can see all of Fukuoka from here. Very nice. Castle here. Nice. All right, let's go down. So you can see the view of Fukuoka here. Pretty nice. <laughs> well, it's like a drone style shot, but I'll have a drone here. It'd be nice if I had a drone.
Thank you. Fortress. Alright, back in the park. It's also nice, peaceful, quiet. aspect to it. Uh, at night, so I'm just going to take a look around some of the stores and stuff at night. Karaoke store, KFC, of course. So many good food everywhere in Japan. the main area district here. Nichi Tenjin. I don't know what that is. An arcade. No, it's a gambling place, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, it's a gambling place. There, like the major stuff open at night in Japan is usually some restaurants, some bars, convenience stores, and gambling places. <laughs> oh, here's a Taito station place, and it's just full of UFO machines. I mean, claw machines. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't really like those. <laughs> They're basically scams. Essentially gambling. Yeah. Every market. So, Yoshinoya. The food. Good, lots of good food here. Just like the rest of Japan, and there's a Gigo here. 
Red Bull car. Hugo is just like another place for more UFO claw machines. So there's no point going there. Just more gacha machines and stuff. Claw, more claw machines. The Koreans really love, oh, the Japanese really love their claw machines, huh? The Koreans and Japanese. But there's so many claw machines here. It's crazy. Alright. Okay. Isn't that the developer of um, some of the visual novels I play? Okay. Interesting. I wonder if that's the same company. No, it's a hair make. I thought it was like the developer of some of the visual novel games I play was Okay. Obviously not comparable to nightlife in Tokyo, right? Fukuoka is not as big of a city, but it's like a uh, not that big of a city, but it's still like okay size. It's not like small or anything. Not the bar here, red bar, karaoke, and highball. Ooh, I'll come here. Karaoke highball. It's fun to come if I had a Japanese friend here. Come with. There's more karaoke machines here. Italian lingerie. What makes Italian lingerie special? That's interesting. Advertise Italian lingerie. Special about Italian lingerie. Okay. Oh, it's called nightlife. One area down there. Shopping district, I believe. Lacoste. Kind of reminds me of Shinsa, right? There's a Dallas studio. Some maids there. They're advertising some maids. I guess there's some maid cafes here. There's a British style fish and chips. Of interest, I know. Women only, all you can think. That's discrimination. Sexism. I cry sexism. <laughs> Women only. Hmm, I guess this is a typical of a city of this size. So if it was Seoul, Tokyo, there'd be like more people here. But you know, Fukuoka is a smaller city. So. Um, and smaller than Yokohama, actually. Two, three, yeah. 
Fukuoka right now and just walking through uh, the valley and I'm um, just going to show you guys again in Japan just how clean everything is, how clean the streets are, uh, everything is really well organized and it's not like boring or anything like that, they have a lot of cool stuff just walking down the alley, right? just random like vending machines like that on the road, parking lot's 1200 yen a day, uh, <laughs> which I guess is not uh, that different than Western countries. But yeah, it's really nice. So, beautiful day outside today. Panasonic. Gotta have Panasonic. One of my favorite Japanese brands. When it comes to electronics. I love the mix of traditional and modern. So that's a more traditional looking house. Right, the gate and everything, and they have more modern looking stuff as well. It's kind of like a mix of both. Yeah, let me guys, uh, let me show you guys the streets. You guys can see just how pristine it looks. You guys can see how clean that street is, right? Everything in Japan. <laughs> like I said, in Tokyo, Fukuoka, no matter where you go, Osaka, it's so clean. Just like that. Let's see. <laughs> It's so nice. Look at this. It's like a perfectly clean road here. Yeah. So I'm actually uh, looking for a ramen restaurant here for Fukuoka, so that's where I'm going to go. Look at these nice houses. I'm going to go over this way. It's so quiet and peaceful here. There's still like some random stores just around the neighborhood and parking lots. There'll be like some parks randomly too. See that this one's like a little bit more modern building-ish. So they have like more traditional buildings with the gates, modern looking buildings. Yeah, it's a nice mix. Let's see. Bicycle, a lot of people in Japan ride bikes and scooters. This park in here makes it random vending machines as well. Here, right here. We continue walking with these Japanese cars. They always have these flat noses, they're called flat nosed. <laughs> Japanese cars are flat noses. Here. What is this storage? It's storage. Yeah, these are just storage compartments, I think. It's a random building here. So now I'm on the path to Dazaifu, um, which is a big temple in Fukuoka. And I'm just walking through the countryside right now. Uh, really is quite a beautiful day today. So I'm going to show you guys the... If you're walking just in... This is really the countryside of Japan. So just showing the countryside of Fukuoka. Essentially, it's still really nice and beautiful. So it looks really nice here. Just like walking, walking in the uh, anywhere in Japan actually looks really nice and beautiful. Oh, train's coming there. Oh, let's see, you can probably watch the train go by. There's a few trains going here, so this is 
wait for the train to come. Hear it. Oh, here it comes. I think that's going to Dai Fu. I'm not going to take that train because I prefer walking, seeing the scenery instead. So it's just a 40 minute walk, which isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, I've walked, I used to walk to work and take 40 minutes every day back in 2017, 2018. So that was back when I worked for um, an old company that was headquartered in downtown San Francisco and I was just yeah, I would go to work by 9 every day, walk 40 minutes. It's a different life. <laughs> now I can't imagine, I go to work at like 10 sometimes, and I just wake up, I can't even uh, imagine myself walking 40 minutes to work anymore. That was a different life. And now I just work from home. Even then, I, I don't go to work until like 10. Back then, I just like would wake up around like 7, I think, 7.45, I take a call at like 8. And then right after, because the stand-up is actually at 8 a.m. And then after stand-up, I would just walk to work. So that was a different life for me back then. I can't do that anymore. Yeah, even this like nice Japanese countryside, so nice. Here you go to see different shrines here. Sports Temple Ruins of Kanai Yaji Temple, Noki Shrine, Izuishi Temple, Kaiden Inn. Let's let this take car past. Alright. Nice countryside, Japan. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. So we're going to design through. Near the bridge. I don't mind walking around in the Japanese countryside. It's so beautiful, nice here. Zaifu Ken Mongo Shine. I'm just gonna follow Google Maps here. Hopefully it's the correct direction. nice area around here some of the these are more modern looking buildings but before in that area some of the buildings were actually on top of mountains and stuff which is really nice so that was a really nice area to walk through and then this area is like a little bit more modern I think so yeah, these are like more modern looking apartment buildings so back there was like really nice area to walk through Nice little clean part of the city. Really charming, actually. Charming and peaceful. So I find about these Japanese countryside places. Charming and peaceful. Yeah. You see that some uh, places are built on top of the mountains, which is really cool.
train's coming. Oh, okay. My train's coming here. Gated place houses. visiting these small Japanese neighborhoods. It's so nice. Quiet and calm. Other the name by the gates and everything. It's super quiet and calm here. Japanese countryside. Look how quiet and peaceful it is. I like to have the name of um, the name right outside of their door. Actually, it's inscribed on the gate or uh, outside of their door in the family name or something. It's a nice touch. Western places, I don't think they usually have the name of the family inscribed outside of the door. <laughs> something Japanese houses seem to have. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice mix of old school houses and modern houses. Nice. Nice day. Quiet, peaceful. See how many bikes are in the side here. So it's like all these bikes lined up and it just continues. There's just like so many bikes around here. It's crazy how uh, how much Japanese people ride bikes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one of the main modes of transportation, right? I mean I don't see this many bikes in Korea. I don't think Koreans ride bikes as much. But uh, to see how many bikes <laughs> It's ridiculous, right? It just keeps going on and on and on. So many bikes. Motorcycles, spirits. Yep, bikes and bikes and bikes. Pretty crazy, actually. Keeps going on. More and more bikes. Yeah, I guess you can see just how many bikes are here. Again look back, that's how many bikes there were. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Alright. Almost there, only uh, 15 more minutes. 10, 15 more minutes to decide for. So you have these old style Japanese houses. Nice. Japanese buildings, I mean. It's really nice. I guess this is the main area. Yep, this is the train station. Oh, okay, this is the cipher area. Oh, students.
the area going up to the shrines. Like in Kamakura, we have like this shopping area before we go to the temple, I guess. in this area. Uh, part of the temple grounds, I guess. Oh. 
Chiling, a mythical tiger animal, the Chiling, I think.
่มันดูแง่บางระหว่างเราไปในที่สาธารณะที่เป็นพิเศษของการให้ความสำคัญกับสิ่งที่那个，这个角度看起来像是。Behind me, so uh, I'm going back behind there. Um, just for a lot of people just came to the shrine. So, so actually, go back in. Write like something on it, and they put it there. See, there's this uh, open area here. It's also pretty interesting. I wonder if this is like a medieval house, something behind me. I mean, uh, is this newly constructed or was it originally part of the temple area? I'm not sure. So, we'll check this area out too. See this area here. It's all originally part of the temple as well. I'm not sure. The Dazaifu Tenmangu. This is the shrine, the famous shrine actually in um, in uh, Dazaifu in Fukuoka. So we're just walking along, and it's a really beautiful day today. See the shrine. So you guys can see the, the path to the shrine behind me right here. Back to the shrine.
Today, so it's really nice weather here. place for offering after behind me. Pretty popular uh, statue of the bull there, and I think that is the bull that carried the um, so the Tenjin, who is the uh, the deity here, who is buried on top of the shrine. I think that bull is associated with this legend. So that's why some of you are taking pictures of the bull. Because he supposedly carried Tenjin, I guess, to this burial site, which is now a shrine.
Get a date day for Looks yummy. Stuff over the day for dark, I think. So I might do.
fun just walking around these kind of Japanese neighborhoods. Let me move this way. Go this way. Go this way, actually. Another temple or shrine. It's pretty cool. Didn't expect another temple or shrine to be here, but nice. Okay, cool. Where's the shrine maiden? It's supposed to be a shrine maiden here. <laughs> Where's right here? Oh, this is the place to pray, I think. It's just some random shrine in this uh, little alleyway. Nice. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to cross the, the slope bridge here. See a nice view of uh, oh, this countryside, Fukuoka. That's pretty nice. That's where the rail where the rail comes from. The train. We're getting a nice little view of the countryside here. Pretty cool. Nice. Oh, there's the train going. Japanese onsen because I'm looking for an onsen and uh, yeah I can walk into the countryside. <laughs> Very nice. Um, here, very peaceful and relaxed. You know I don't mind just walking in, in Japan because uh, there's always something cool to see and it's always very um, relaxed and peaceful so yeah I don't mind it at all. In this place. Okay. I need to relax because I've been walking so much the last few days. So I thought it was just random stores here as well. There's always something here. I don't know if that's a store actually. It might be like a doctor or something. I'm not sure what that is. Pretty cool, but yeah, it's the countryside we're walking. Some of the houses are built on top of hills, which is pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see. And the houses at the back here, they're actually built on top of hills. So that's really cool. Yeah, see those houses right there? Some of them are built on top of hills. That's really, really cool.
quite a quiet place. That's really beautiful right here. You see those houses, those houses, really nice. Seven Eleven everywhere in Japan. Seven Eleven everywhere. Chester in Japan is a mix of these like um, apartments and um, single story houses or like single detached houses, I guess, with a gate. So they got like a nice mix of both older school, old style houses, new style houses. Yeah, so I bet those those apartments look like they're from the 70s or something, I guess. But then I saw these houses and apartments that look like they're from the 50s and 60s. These ones, I think, could be from the 50s and 60s, actually. Yeah, these ones look like they could be from the 50s and 60s. And then the apartments behind them look like it could be from the 70s and 80s. Just like a nice mix. It's not like you have uh, one style that predominates. Yeah, that looks like it's from like the 70s or 80s. And then these houses are much older. These houses look like it could be from uh, even like the 30s and 40s. <laughs> you know, and those those are much older style houses. And then we have another playground area here. More mix of apartment buildings. Uh, I'll just here. It's like a mix. It's not like uh, Korea or China, where Korea and China, all the buildings are basically new because they, they basically demolish all the old looking buildings and replace them with new ones. But Japan looks like they keep the old buildings and just build some new ones, but they, don't, they keep some of the old ones as well. So it's a nice mix. Here you see it can make some single story houses. Yep, you see a mix of uh, single story houses right here. <laughs> and there's also apartments and stuff in the background. Yeah. And some houses have their own gate here. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice mix here. Machine place to eat hamburger. Parking spots. See, this is another one. Japanese house with their name right on the front of the house. The family name. That's pretty cool. Look her. Where's the onsen? Is this one? These style houses are really cool too. Look really cool. Almost there. That's interesting style apartment. That's interesting. 
past it. It's a hotel actually. It's a nice place. There's cigarette vending machines if you need your cigarette fix right there. And then of course the drink vending machine. But, uh, yeah, it's always a nice lock in the countryside here. Some random restaurants. Place? I mean, that might be the place. Okay. Uh, actually, no, it's this one. This one's also there, too. Okay. Okay, I one of these. I think that one actually looks like the onsen to me, so. Pretty cool Japanese onsen. Yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you for riding with JR Kiju. Uh, this this, this is train I missed. The relay uh, car will be yes, limited express. Now for Hikata. The next station is our final destination, Hikata.
peaceful yeah most street in Japan isn't there? they have like these small little stores just on the side of the street so very nice still is just a really like peaceful neighborhood it's like uh, yeah, most places in Japan are like this it's pretty nice just to walk into the neighborhood so yeah everything is so quiet Peaceful. This little garden area there. Really nice. Yeah, always a lot of scooters, bikes, and stuff. The park there. It's a nice peaceful road. Original old school style houses like this. They're so nice. It's typical Japanese gated houses. <laughs> and then Coke vending machines in front of apartments. Um, I went to yesterday. Yes. Alright, this is Terubo Shrine in Fukuoka. So a lot of shrines here. It's another one. There's many shrines. of um, presumably a person related to the shrine <laughs> and uh, the shrine itself right here yeah pretty nice the place where you put it you write something on the paper and put it there yeah pretty nice oh, a really nice day today Shrines here. 
Interesting. Huh. Another. I think we're going to go. That's interesting. Huh. Then we'll go back down. Okay, I see. Just this area, just like up there area. Go in. It's another one here, and then this side is another place. And more places here. Yeah, pretty interesting. You can see the view of the city from here. Look at this. <laughs> nice. How long did this go? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's really peaceful. 
I walk down this road. It's beautiful. Beautiful nature here. Nice. This is like further in Nishi Park. That's basically what it says is Nishi Park. See a nice view of the city from here too. As well as the water. Nice. Nice view of the park here. So this came down from there. So let's go in this one. It's also nice. It's an adjacent shrine, basically. Mm. A shrine here, small shrine, but still nice. It's gotta have a cow or a sacrificial bull or something. Nice. Okay, out. A nice apartment there. It's like a nice little walking trail here. That's uh, this side of the main road. Okay. Okay, this is another shrine here. Or actually, it's a monument. And this is the this is the road back down. But um, yeah, we have like a monument here as well, which is cool. Nice. It's a nice house, the gates. Right up. Kids. See a temple in the background? It's 
pretty nice. Hmm. Oh, there's a school here, that's why. So right now I'm on the canal bridge in Fukuoka. And you see the scenery here at night. So yeah, very nice scenery at night here in Fukuoka. This is the river, I guess. Fukuoka flows over. Guys, praying Pearl Jam. Maybe it's perfect. So, yeah. 
Life here in the city, pretty cool. Yeah, it's just going over, walking across the bridge is pretty nice. So it's a pretty beautiful city. Shops right beside the river. Pretty nice. a small little night market place there where people can sit and eat which is pretty cool uh, but here you can see, also see the night view at the same time which is nice almost reminds me of the Han River <laughs> so I have to sit here and watch the night view which is pretty nice Then I go to Canal City, which is right over there. Pretty 
really nice. So going to Canal City. I mean, this is the water from here as well. Very nice. Beautiful river. Look at these like canals. <laughs> this must be the pleasure district. What are these shops? The Doki Man. Six school uniforms. No. <laughs> I don't only. Campus mate. Sexy paradise. Happiness and dream. This must be all pleasure district. Main area. <laughs> For coconut nightlife. Look at that girls. Oh, those are real moves. Oh. <laughs> so there's like 
poster or something there, real maids. Ramen vending machine. Interesting stuff on the street. More girls lining up. More girls lining up. I don't get what's with these girls standing outside selling themselves or something. <laughs> I've never seen this in like Tokyo. Look what's going on there. Entire district, like pleasure district or something. So many girls like standing outside. <laughs> so many clubs. Yeah. 
the Ohari Park again. By the lake here. Got Long Bridge in the middle. On the edge. Lots of ducks and stuff here. No fishing. Can't fish here, of course. It's a view of the lake from Ohari Park on the other side. Pretty nice. Yeah, maybe I'll cross that bridge next. Bridge on the other side. I haven't crossed that bridge yet. And there is a playground right here. Children are playing. Walk to the bridge. Nice. nice day outside today. Yeah, this whole week has been pretty good. Turtles down there. Oh, I saw turtles. What oh, was the turtles? There's turtles. <laughs> Oh, 
down under. They're coming back up. Okay, I'm walking across the bridge now. This bridge goes to the middle of the lake. Peaceful. It's beautiful weather. Peaceful. It's written there. It's 
nice day today. Another bridge. the second bridge. Yeah, it's really relaxing here. And someday I'll come here with someone else. <laughs> right now it's by myself. Yeah, on bridge too. Yeah. Let's see how beautiful this part of the park is. I'm gonna go walk across the bridge. Okay. 
it's really, really pretty too. And then that's where I was last time. It's the uh, swan boats and everything. This is a hurry parking. 